Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another um, Legend of Zelda. Is the sound going on? Hello? Oh, there we go. Now I can hear myself. <laughs> so when we last left off, um, we heard a sound coming from the other room. Let's listen. <gasps> Mystical water demon. What have you come to me for? Hello. Oh, wait. She's running away. Hey, wait, we can run too. Come on, come here, come here. Where'd you go? Come on. Roll, roll. And open the door. Okay, normally when I wake up out of being unconscious, I don't follow the first imaginary image that, you know, comes, comes to me. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Hello. Yes, kitty cat. Okay, don't show me your butt. I don't want to see that, please. Oh my goodness! Oh, run! Oh. Down, kitty. Down, kitty. Should I continue? It's saying no. Eh, one more. There you go. That's for attacking me. Yes. Wait. Where's she going? Oh. Hold up. Hold on. Can we... Leap. 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 Down. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, dash. Ooh. Hold on. There we go. Good deal. Hey, before we get too far, hold on. Let me let me get this set up because I I know I didn't set this up the other day. Uh, add video capture device Elgato. That one hit OK. There we go. And we're gonna put that down towards the bottom. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. And as always, let's keep going. All right. Um, you got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring, b boring wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Okay, so is this where the whole Breath of the Wild system came from? Like monster gel and stuff like that? Okay, come here, buddy. I smite thee! Hold on, can I... Oh, whoa. Ah. I love that it, it follows the wrist. Like it knows it's not quite as Whoa. That is so cool. Okay. Put it away. Let me grab that. Oh, there's a ship out there. Do you see it? Okay, hold on. Where did you go? Oh, do I need to go up? Oh, I have to jump that. Leap! Leap! Jump! Let's go! She's waiting for me, patiently. Or, or he. You know, I don't want to assume. It looks kind of feminine, just saying. You know. But I've met feminine men, so... Peak spectral. I can't go through walls. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Now what? <gasps> okay, so now do we have to go through some kind of trials? Trials and tribulations. There's a bat there. Behind me. 
Do I worry about the bat? No, let's not worry about it. Let's go. Let's go. Inside the statue of the goddess. <gasps> it's a true sword. Do I get the master sword like in the first three episodes? That's not a master sword. What is that? Oh. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. You've said this in my dreams. According to your social customs, I should provide you with a personal designation. Ah, fee or phi. Is it phi or fee? I guess it'd be phi, because if I changed it to an H, it'd be hi. So um, phi is her name uh, or his name. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling a great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Code. You must take this sword as one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. Can I go back to bed? Can you get somebody else to do this? The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of your, uh... The one that you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it's the only log it's only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that there are is information the information has high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of a great mission. Therefore, you should wish to meet <clears throat> with your friend. I highly recommend that you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. It'd be funny just to walk off. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? It seems that further persuasion measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Okay, done. Hold on. Ready stance. Remove. Oh, I had to like yank it. Du, 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 du. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hit the Y button, raise it skyward. Huh? That was a bit cheesy, not gonna lie. But I could see myself playing this in the game room. Uh-huh, that would be fun. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in the divine light. Like a paladin. Doom, 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 doom. Water spirit, fi. We recognize. Wait, recognition complete, master. Code, my master. Hey, what? Code. <gasps> I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are, in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. What are those words? When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. But do, right, do not fear, for it is then that the youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place of most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've been kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure that I was seeing things. Here, alone with the sword, there was simply no other explanation. 
I never dreamed that the prophecy of the legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep my secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes. The oral tradition, one of least reliable methods of information, retain, retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. What? My stories aren't true? No, I'm Action IBM Computer from... No, sorry. The youth who draws forth the, uh, forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it, it is he who possesses unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of the apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. I just realized, is my audio like super loud again? Hold on. I forgot to turn it down. There. Let's go, let's go down to about there. Was this entire episode like that? Oh no. I'm so sorry, guys. There we go. Ah, oh, much better. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that re rescue, rescues, rescues the land. Rescues the land. <laughs> oh! I don't know what for a name, just subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing. Zelda, some of Father's old texts uh, talk about a place called the surface. Old tales describing the whole world below far more vast than Skyloft. <gasps> it's true. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds in the vast realm of the surface. It is only through the journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Z Zelda. This is no easy task, Code. The world below is forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. What is that? What is that? Selfie. This tablet will illuminate the path through the clouds to the land below. Take it. Place it within the altar behind me. I got the emerald tablet, the weathered stone surface. Uh, surface of the heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing that you must do is hit the crest sitting in the room with the skyward strike. The blasts are formed from pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged the blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send the powerful skyward strike. Okay, walk forward here. And let's see, do I need to place anything? Or just take it out, we're gonna hold it, hold on. Hold it upward. Nice. Oh, now I can put the tablet in there. Yeah. I love that sound. All right, B, put it away. A, examine. Take out the tablet. Put it together like a little puzzle piece. Like. Like we were in a storm and all the lights went out and now we have to light candles and do puzzles. Somebody dropped their flashlight. Excuse me. Master code, it is done. 
Until now, the cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from this one. The tablet that you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it, may, it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press the down C key, oh, the down arrow key, to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Code, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in this destiny of the land. Just think, what if this Fi says is true? Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is that the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dan should you heed the call of destinies, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Code, especially down there. But if you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. That's true words of a, a dad right there. What we're what we've seen here today defies explanation. But it is only the start of the journey. Please see it through and prove the legend true. Hold on, hold on. Okay. There we go. You do your people proud, Code. Thank you. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Code. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you will receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A study uniform like that will prove much more suitable in a long journey. You'd better change before you go. <clears throat> Tom, that's how I'm going to answer everybody. Even even on the phone, I'll be like... <clears throat> I want to cosplay like that. Just saying. I want to make myself a Zelda outfit. I'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger around the middle, but you know. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. Uh, to be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. That's right, he was. Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops in the bazaar before you uh, in town to equip yourself properly for your travels ahead. I will return to my quarters to see if there's I can glean some more information from the ancient text. You are always welcome to stop by, but if you have any questions, you and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over you and guide you both. How far along are we? Are 18 minutes? Okay. I, I've got a collab with Bunny Films here in just a little bit, so. Alright, do I need to talk to you anymore? I, I don't need to talk. We don't need to talk. We're ready to go. Let's go. Adventure time! Come. Oh, hi, Code. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said that you're heading out to look for Zelda. You, you're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this, so you should take it with you. Yay! Got the adventurer's pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in the handy piece of gear. Oh, um... The adventurer's pouch is for adventurers. It's for adventurers. Uh, it's neat because you can fit up to four things in it that you'll need in your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar, and you can put them into your pouch. You should go look. You should buy some potions and a shield. They'll, they'll, they'd will they fit into the pouch, and they might come in handy on your adventure. Potions, shield, got it. Code, I just know you'll, do, you'll find Zelda for us. 
All right, cool. Bye. Um, which way out of here again? I mean, I've been living here for years, but I I can't remember. Okay, fine. You gonna talk to me? Just saw the news out of all of us came to. Uh, how come you were the only got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of all that, Groose won't come out of his room and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class you are. It's not working. Okay, fine. We'll take the higher path and not hurt you in some way, you big bully. All right, let's go. This is such an important mission, but everybody keeps stopping me. Oh, hello. Yes, we want to save. Always save. Isn't that a product? Always save? Something like that? Or great value? Maybe. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared over to the south of our location, and the signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier for us to land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed with only a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, you are advised to purchase a shield and some potion. I just, yes, yes, I, I understand. It's a great deal to go to the bazaar. Wait, is the bazaar up here? I thought the bazaar was like this big building. Is this the bazaar? <sighs> Did you know that bees will actually use pheromones and dances to show the other bees in the colony how to um, how to find the flowers that they found? That's how bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre? Hi. So you're on your way to becoming a knight right now. Congratulations. But I'm sure there's still plenty for you to do. Don't forget to press that if you need a pointer or two. Nice. Hello. What you cooking? Next up, a dash of pepper. Delicious. And some culinary des delight. Ready to be savored and enjoyed. Wonderful. Hello. <clears throat> the only thing that to do when you're tired. Get some sleep. You can sleep anywhere there's a bed, you know? Skyloft is different places after the sun goes down. It's no lie. Find a bed and take a nap. To sleep until the nightfall, there's all kinds of curious things you can enjoy at night. Do, 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 do. Hello. Hey, welcome to Scrap Shop. I can use stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger and if you your shield takes a beating no worries I can fix that up too so what will it be upgrade 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 hey kid you don't have anything to upgrade for right now how about head over to Rumpin's shop and buy something okay fine what's this what is my eyes behold a young man, what a cal calamitous vision appears before me. You, uh, you may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust me. Trust my piercing eyes. Those are some piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deep into my eyes. Come closer. Wait, was was I actually moving towards him? Uh, I would, but I need potions. I'm sorry. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <clears throat> oh, her name's Love. Luv. Hey, you there. Yes, you. The adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured and fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm. Let me tell you, one one look at you, and I can tell that you need potions by the cauldron fool. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh, dear. I forgot to ask if you're empty bottles on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you any potions if you don't have any empty bottles for me to pour them into. For some reason, I like you, though. So I'm going to give you spare empty bottle and keep... 
uh, been keeping in here in the stall and it's for nothing. It's a little gift. It's my little gift. I won't hear, you won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things inside the bottles. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Ooh, nice. Like bugs. Can I put bugs in bottles? Empty bottle, you can fill all sorts of things, useful things in. Bottles fill your in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. First, while holding R, then choose the item that you want to look for. Select item, easy right. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff into the pouches and it's full, you can always drop items off at the item check. So what would you like to buy? Okay, what do you got? Hold on. R. Oh, there we go. All right, can we scoop this? Oops. Come on. Come on, just please. I can't scoop anything. I'm pressing A. Okay. Put away. Talk. Welcome, young man. Potion shop. Sell potions. Find hands. Take a situation. Ye do you want to hear mo more? Yes. Such a smart boy just standing in front of the potion shop and wanted to talk about everything potions and potions carry. However, if you want something to buy potions and see your steps, it helps with it. will be able to help. Okay. So let me scoop this. It's not letting me scoop. This mysterious elixir is a revitalizing potion. Simply pour it on a broken shield and the shield will be as good as new. Not only that, multi-purpose mixture, uh, even restore four hearts. How about take your travels with you? Uh, no thanks. You don't want it, dear? I know my potions might taste a bit strange, but there's no denying that they do what is advertised. That's fine, I just don't need a shield. I don't even have a shield yet. What's this one? Guardian potion, this stuff makes you feel invincible. The potion that reduces the damage that you take for a little bit of time. If you find yourself facing an opponent who's out of your league, this potion is for you. And this kind of potion doesn't come cheap. It's 200 rubies, how about it? N no. No. You don't want it, dear? Some of the potions might taste, but they're advertised. Okay. I would imagine this one's magic, or maybe this one's magic. Green is magic in here, okay. Let's look at the, that one. That's a vat of heart potion. Drink it and the potion will replenish your hearts. Eight hearts. 20 rubies? Yes, please. Okay. Green is stamina. Remember the, the stamina bar? Yeah, heart potion, you can take this with you. Eight hearts, got it. Sweetie, if you want a potion powered up, husband get to the end of the counter. He can, wait. If you want a potion powered up, Go see my husband at the end of the counter. Okay, what is this? Oh. Slow down, dear. That potion is not quite ready for public consumption yet, but I promise it will be out soon. In the meantime, I have plenty of other great potions. Stamina potion, right? I'm just, I'm taking a wild guess. Stepping out on a limb here. Stamina gauge. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect the formula. Wait until it's ready. Feel free to take a look at my other potions. Okay, so... The red potion is good. Green and blue can't buy. This restores shield and this is invincibility and this guy is supposed to pump up the jam. Well, hello, welcome to my humble little side business over here. I uh, infuse the potion uh, potions my wife sells with little ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing really, it's just something I'd like to do. Well, do you have any potions? Would you like me to infuse? Yes. These are potions you are currently carrying I can infuse. Yeah, that's, that's the one. That one. Okay, requires three butterflies. I don't have that. Completely restores all hearts. Yes, it, let's infuse. Oh, but you don't have enough materials to enhance this potion. Why do I need to supply? I'm paying you rubies, you supply the supplies. Ah, uh, okay. 
No, we're good. We're good. Is, is it safe for you to have a baby on your back right over the potion? Just saying. Okay, where's this other guy with the shields? There's lots of shields. Oh, hi, hi. If I walk away. Oh. Hi. What? Aha, customer, hello there, friend. My shop carries the finest products that you'll find anywhere. Please take a moment to your senses and savors of the wonderful treasures that I have prepared for here for you, friend. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. How do I buy? I'll hit OK. Aha, uh -huh, of course. Someone as bright as you, savvy for yourself, doesn't need to hear the rambles. Straight to business. Please, friend, feast your eyes on the landscape of fantastical treasures that I have. Oh my gosh, why are you talking so much? Can, can I just walk? Or are these the only ones? Okay, here we go. Examine. What are those? My friend, don't uh, you don't appear to have a slingshot. Okay, so that's for slingshots. That's for a bow and arrow that I don't have. Very sorry, but you can't sell those unless you have a bomb bag. Oh, those are bombs. Aha, the wooden shield. You can block and repel attacks. You must be careful as it will break if it takes too much damage. Don't forget about fire, it's quite easy to burn. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. Got a wooden shield. Of course, I don't think we're gonna have to deal with the wooden shield for very long. It always upgrades pretty fast in the game. Customer's always right. Good, good, good. I have taken the liberty to place it in your pouch. Press R. Did you place it in my pouch? There we go. Oh, I guess I can't combat in here. Okay. Hello. Hi. Why are you bored? Hello. Oh, welcome to the item check. Do you want to put stuff in your pouch or storage? That's fine with me. Okay. Okay. So what this is, it's kind of like a bank. I don't want to move anything. <laughs> you sound so bored. See what living above the clouds does to you? What is this? Master code. This treasure chest is... Uh, like object is a relic of ancient times left by the goddess for her chosen hero. However, lack of any information of how it can be opened at this time. I thought you were in abundance of information. Hit it with the sword. Hit it with the sword. That's got to be the clue. Okay, what if I run dash into it? That doesn't work either. Okay, fine. Anything else I can do back here? Can I burn myself? Ow! Burn. <laughs> it changed. The song music changes. That's awesome. Look at all these awesome kites and stuff. We've already talked. Already talked. Uh, we've already talked to you. I thought there might be another shop right there. Already talked. What's back here, buddy? Can I? Can I go back here? Can I just take a peek? Hold on. No secret items. Okay. Potion lady. Okay, that's it. And I'm going to leave you with that for the night. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Skyward Sword Legend of Zelda with me, Heath Haskins Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you for that. All right, hold on. I'm just trying to find a save point at the moment. Although I don't think I need to. I think the switch will save it for me. Hold on. Ah, there we go. How do I block? Oh, so I literally have to... What is that?
I have to bring it up like this to... I could bring it all the way over here and be like, wah, 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 wah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Enough messing around code. Put it away. Put it away. We're gonna save. Uh-oh. What was that? I don't want to cancel. There we go. Thank you for the subscribe. I appreciate it. Save to file. Yes, I want to save. Save in progress. All saved up. There we go. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.